Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will understand how you can manage your sales process or the sales cycle in Deskera Books. In order to do that, we need to click on sell. Let's do that. In the sell section, we have quotes, invoices and archive. Under the quotes, you have quote number, contact, quotation date, due date, total amount, fulfillment status, that is whether it has been dispatched or not via a delivery chalan or delivery order and the option to convert the quote to invoices. Let's quickly create a quote, a quotation. Let's select a contact. You can see the options for custom fields are still shown over here. You can configure the custom fields from this option. You can add products. The other option is you can autofill the products from the previous quote. You can choose yes. This will auto populate the products. You can delete the products, you can add new. Let's click on manage. The manage option allows you to change the headers for all the line items. You can change the label to products, service items, or you can type out a new label. Let's change some description. Let's change the quantity to QTY, that is the default. Let's click on save. You will notice the headers have been changed. Let's add some products. You will notice the price has again been picked up from the product master. The price history is also shown. So in case you want to check what is the price at which you had sold the product to this contact earlier, you can see that. You can add discounts. The tax is auto populated again depending on the state, IGST shown or CGST and SGST. You can see the tax breakup. If you want to apply TCS, that is tax collected at source. Supply TCS. TCS also gets added. You have the option to round off. I have rounded it off. Under the more options, you have multi currency options. So you can create the quotation in different currency as well. At the line item, when you click on the three dots, you can define custom fields or delete the item. Again, you can attach files or create memos. Let's click on save and close. The other options are save and send and save and create. The quotation has now been saved. You can click on this to see the details. You can copy to create a similar quotation. You can email, you can click on print. Under the more options, you have fulfill, that is create a delivery order, design, set recurring. The set recurring basically allows you to create a transaction multiple times at a defined interval. This interval can be monthly, weekly or custom or yearly. You can define the first document date. You can set it to never ends and you can click on save. This is the print option. So all the design templates that you have created are shown. You can select the one using which you want to print the quotation. You can take a printout and save it. Then there's the email option. Let's click on email. The email allows you to define the email template. You can insert various placeholders in the email template. Let's see what the placeholders are. Contact name, username, quote date, quote amount, currency code, symbol, company name and quotation number. So in case you wish to personalize this template, let's see how we can do that. Let's insert the quotation number over here, I'll add placeholder. This has been added. Let's change this to quotation. You can address this mail to every contact for whom the quotation is created. Contact name. You can apply this template to future emails. You can also select the format in which you want to send the quotation. So all the templates are again shown over here. You can select, you can click on send. The 
preview gets loaded and close. Let's go back. Now once the quotation has been saved, you can either convert it into an invoice or you can dispatch the goods. Dispatching the goods create delivery order or delivery chalan. Let's click on convert. Get an option to convert partially, fully or fulfill and convert. So convert partially basically means creating partial invoices. Fully means you will create a full invoice. Fulfill and convert means you will create the invoice and also dispatch the goods. Let's just convert it to an invoice. You get the message that quotation has been converted to an invoice successfully. Let's go to invoices. Under invoices, you can see the newly created invoice. You can click on fulfill. Fulfill gives you three options, direct fulfillment, pick pack ship or drop ship direct fulfillment is directly dispatching the goods from the warehouse you directly create a delivery order or chalan and dispatch it pick pack ship is used when you have three separate processes a pick step wherein you pick the material from the shelves a packing team and finally the shipping team that dispatches the goods via various mediums the drop ship option allows you to send an order to your supplier who will directly ship the products to the customer let's select direct fulfillment You again have the option to define how many quantities are you dispatching. In case you have multiple products, you can choose to dispatch either all of them or few of them. You can select the warehouse, the date and click on fulfill. Once the fulfillment has been done, you can see the status is updated to fulfilled. Let's click on the invoice. click on fulfillment so this is the fulfillment transaction you get the option to print the delivery order as well let's click on print the print template for the delivery order also gets generated in case you want to design your own template you can click on edit upon doing this you get the document generator you can change these labels let's change the fulfillment to delivery order you can choose the paper format you can change the theme color you can choose from one of these various templates you can edit this line item table as well click on edit you can choose which columns you want you can rename these columns simply click on edit you can edit this let's save this on the left hand side you see the option to hide or show various details so simply click on hide, we'll hide this. You can add a signature, terms and condition, notes. You can click on save. You have two options. Either you can use the default option and change it, or you can create a new template using the save as option. Let's click on save. So now we have two templates. You can choose either of these when you want to take a printout of the delivery order. Let's go back to books. Let's close this. We'll come back to the invoice. Let's go back. We can choose to get paid. Let's click on get paid. You can capture the payment that you have received. You can choose the bank or cash. Let's select the bank. Payment type, check number. In case you want to adjust any advance payments that you receive from the customer, you can select this, check mark the advance payment. In case you want to adjust any credit notes, you can check mark this, adjust the credit notes. You can change the currency, the payment date. Let's click on next, receive. We've received the payment. You can take a printout of the receipt or you can close this. Once this process has been completed, our sales cycle is done. The invoice moves to the archive section. Let's go back to the dashboard. This concludes the various steps 
that are part of the sales cycle. Now, there are certain other settings that you can do that can help you with the sales process, like invoice reminders. You can go to contacts, click on invoice reminder, and you can enable this. You can set various reminders before or on due date or after due date. You can also configure how the email looks like. Click on this. You can see how the email looks like. You can also mark a particular email ID that needs to be CC'd whenever an invoice reminder is sent to your contacts. This will help you in getting timely payments from your contacts.